just uh, just kind of take us through what the disappointment in the locker room. Obviously, you battle all year and then a chance to play for a championship and um, just kind of how um, the team did, didn't really execute down the stretch. Yeah. Three with two and 11. Take us through kind of the final stages of, uh, of that basketball. Game. Well, that's what we, I had just said. It's a, yeah, a game of, we always talk about, we preach it, game of possessions. And uh, that's what it came down to. We had uh, the ball. We had uh, a little cushion. And we're trying to execute the play to get Bailey another look. Play we run 100 times over and over. And uh, of course, they're down Towson, so they're uh, overly aggressive. And just the timing was off. And uh, the attention to detail of how important it was to go for the basketball. So he came up with that steal. Of course, it's a little deflating. And then came down again. So it's just two crucial uh, turnovers instead of taking advantage. Uh, Belly, talk about your, you wanted the ball all day and, and executed, uh, you know, until those last last couple of plays. The execution was, was very good. Uh, talk about that and, and how you were approaching things and wanting to finish things, and then how the the huddles were, the player-only huddles, sort of how, how that was went toward the end. Uh, yeah, so definitely the player huddles, we just really try to keep it together. We can't control what the refs or anybody else is doing. We try to control what we can control. So our defense, we were getting stops. We just couldn't score in the end, which was really rough. But Maura Hendrickson um, stepped up in the beginning of the basketball game, three threes. She uh, wasn't necessarily hitting her shots uh, coming into to the game. She had six points in, in the quarterfinal round, but um, had a big month of January, and, and then uh, not much since then, but to come in in a championship game and to hit shots like that, um, what did that do for your team at the beginning? Of yeah, well, it was huge. I mean, just the production off the bench uh, gives great confidence, and it opened the floor up, and it uh, forced some changes with their rotation, uh, which was great. And even saw a little bit in the second half when we brought her back in. Uh, they went big again, which we felt our bigs could take advantage of. Uh, they did a nice job guarding in the second half, but I still felt it forced them to guard. You know, that's... Everybody is a threat on the floor. Everyone's an option, so you want to make sure you have them out there. And she, I thought she had a very solid freshman freshman year for us. Uh, just final game, uh, not of the season, but obviously um, of the, the CAA season and uh, the, the year that Bailey Greenberg had mm -hmm. uh, to go from second team all CAA to make the jump to the player of the year. Just really impressive. Just your kind of final thoughts as you wrap up uh, or get close to wrapping up the season for Bailey. Yeah, well, I'm extremely proud of what uh, Bailey has done for our program. You know, it's not just about this season. It's about uh, their time when they're here with us at Drexel. And fortunately enough, we have Bailey for another season. Yeah. So, uh, I, again, we comment on her ability on the offensive end, but it, it certainly is what she does on the defensive end and the rebounding of the ball and just the tone she sets for the team. You know, she, she doesn't lose her composure. She doesn't uh, get rattled. She just continues to play the game, and that's what you want. Uh, from your leader, so uh, good things will continue for the Dragons.